know that you can actually stretch the potential of your experience and intelligence. And by intelligence, I refer to thinking. The pattern of how the way we think given a certain situation was passed on to us by the gang of three, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, which show tends to be based on argument and since then became our traditional way of putting and presenting our views. Let me just briefly present the ideas of the Gang of Three. Socrates clarified the correct use of concepts like justice and love by pointing out incorrect usage of such. In short, his role is just pointing out what's wrong. Plato believed that as we are going through the life, we only see the truth by its shadows. Aristotle shared to us the systematized way of thinking. We created boxes of standards, definitions, categories, or principles. When we are facing a certain situation, we tend to judge which box it goes. The Western way of thinking shared to us by Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle is concerned with what is, which is determined by judgment analysis, and most of the time, argument. This is the thinking system we used and familiar with. However, there is another view of thinking which is concerned with what can be and is known for constructive and creative thinking and designs a way forward. This kind of thinking is not designed by argument or falls under the standard situation box. The what can be thinking is called the parallel thinking. Take for example, there is a large and beautiful house. There are four persons each standing at the different view, the front, back, and the two sides respectively. All four of them have a different view of the house. They argue for each one belief that they are all watching the correct view of the house at once. When we apply parallel thinking to the situation, the four persons walk around the house and take a look at each side to get the total view. Parallel thinking means everyone is looking at the same direction at one moment and that same direction can be changed. You can be asked to look at the east or the West, such are the standard label for directions. Thinking also needs a direction label to make a person a better thinker. One has to wear a thinking hat to fully experience the idea of each hat and get the correct information or result out of wearing such imaginary hat. To visualize, imagine wearing hats in different color. We use color because it is easier to retain it mentally. We have white hat, red hat, the black hat, the yellow hat, the green hat, and the blue hat. Each of these hat has a representation or has a role to play. The white hat is neutral and objective. It is concerned with objective facts and figures. The red hat suggests anger, rage, and emotions. It suggests the emotional view. The black hat is sober and serious. It is cautious and careful. It points out the weakness in an idea or a situation. The yellow hat indicates sunny and positive, optimistic, and covers hope and positive thinking. The green hut is a grass, vegetation, and abundant representation. Fertile growth, it indicates creativity and new ideas. While the blue hut indicates coolness, the color of the sky, it is concerned with control, organization of the thinking of the process, and the use of the other huts. So, if you master this, you can relate to whatever situation and give a better view by wearing your hats. Parallel thinking makes the fullest use of everyone's intelligence and experience.